Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas. Oh, baby, I got some fun tech topics to talk to you about today. Let's see who's in the house. It's my producer, John Venturini. He says, our first thoughts on Chrome and an old MacBook. What could possibly go wrong? Sound of NBC laugh track. (laughs) Today is Tuesday, August 6th. Good morning, Haas. It's pure bliss. Join the fun. It's a brand new day. All right. My, my, my. MacBook Air, 10 years old. Can you breathe new life into it? The answer is yes. And I did. And I'm about to break it all down and tell you what it cost and what my first thoughts are. Jaden's here with the Purple Hearts in the channel name. He says, hello, hyphen, everyone. Hello, hyphen, Jaden. Okay. This is it. This is a very ancient MacBook Air. Nothing really uh, that glamorous about it. It's worth about $60 on the open market, so Basically, it's worth nothing. Here's what it took me. First of all, the hardware specs are, I did double the RAM in this when I first bought it, so it's 8 gigabytes of RAM. It came stock with 4. This was 10 years ago. It's the Intel i7. Optionally, I spent $10 on a USB stick because you need to boot from a USB stick in order to install Chrome OS. I needed to buy one. I did. I replaced the battery in it. The battery was working, but it drained rather fast, and there were warnings saying it was halfway through its useful life. For 40 bucks, I'm like, okay, I threw a new battery in it. You could do it yourself. I didn't have to take it to a store. Just unscrew eight screws on the back, unscrew five screws on the battery itself, unplug it redo everything, put it back together, and I bought a very expensive mouse for it. Totally optional. So for 110 bucks, I got uh, I got that going. Now, here's the hardware issues. This particular hardware is not on the supported list, but it still runs it, but there's a few issues. The built-in camera isn't recognized. Now, you can throw a Logitech webcam on there, you can buy one of those $60 ones. It'll work just fine. But the built-in Apple face cam, whatever it is, in the lid of the, it doesn't work. And it won't wake from sleep by pushing a button or tapping on the touchpad. You have to change the brightness to wake it up. I, you know, whatever. I'll take it. I'll take that all day long. Oddities. I tried to do my Ecamm workflow by scheduling out new shows and then doing all of the social medias around it. Obviously, Ecamm is a Mac application and doesn't exist on the Chrome OS. So, you know, I couldn't schedule new Ecamm shows with the Chrome OS. But, um, you know... That's to be expected. It's basically a browser and some other things. And I'm starting to learn the difference between the Chrome Web Store and the Google Play Store. So apparently, now, if someone knows more about this, hit me up after the show and help explain it to me. But... Unless you're running raw Chrome OS, you don't have access to Play Store items. What would that be? Like Zoom has a progressive web app in the Play Store. I can't have that on there because I used Chrome OS Flex, which is a special version of the Chrome OS for older hardware. Um, So I think if I would buy a Chromebook from the store, like a Pixelbook, I would have access to the Play Store items. I don't. I have access to the chrome web store items it's a little wonky 
Still trying to figure all that out. And finally, the good surprises. It can do a lot of stuff. Notion is a fully functional web app. So I can do all my management in Notion on the Chromebook, no problem. For graphic design, all of my thumbnails, I've been using Adobe Express, which is a web version of Photoshop. It's kind of like Canva. So Canva, Adobe Express, all that stuff will work. It has local storage. This was my biggest fear. I've got local draw. I can store PDFs, images, graphic files, thumbnails, headshot photos, the whole deal. I've got local storage and it connects to my network. I can tap into this computer or other computers and I can surf around their hard drive and I can pull off thumbnails and other uh, video assets that I, I need, marketing assets and things like that. So it, nowadays it is f a fully functional computer. If you bought like a $600 brand new like executive level Chromebook, that thing would last you a decade or longer. And it screams, it's fast. This real Intel chip, it screams. It's just as fast as my expensive new computers. Brow you know, it's browser only. YouTube has its own app, which is optional. You can use YouTube in, in Chrome, but it, that has it on the Chrome OS. A few things have their own app in Chrome OS, which is a little odd. Uh, Gmail has its own app, but you could also use Gmail through the browser. It's, I don't know. It's getting much easier to use a Chromebook, and I'm really digging it. Britta Aller is here. Good morning to you. David W. Ryan's here as well. Happy Tuesday, he says. Britta's greeting all the friends. Good morning, friends. You're our friend, Britta. All right. Also, Facebook. Facebook failed me. I've been seeing a lot of chatter on the interwebs that my streaming software, Ecamm, has been failing to Facebook. And I'm like, well, you know, they took they took the API access away for groups and for pages and blah, blah, blah. But people have been saying, no, it's just been failing. Well, it really has been failing. There has been an internal software issue with Ecamm that was making it fail. And what did I do yesterday? I had my eighth episode of design process on awesome fun things, to awesome wood things, talking about my Notion artwork. But I also tried to parallel stream to my Facebook profile. Facebook profiles are not crippled from streaming software like Ecamm. And uh, it failed. And it failed because there was an Ecamm issue. So I, th I think I'm just done streaming to Facebook altogether. I don't care if it's a Facebook profile a Facebook page or a Facebook group. I am not streaming that platform anymore. Anymore. Soon Chromebook will become self-aware. <laughs> yeah. Darn you, Zuckerberg. Hashtag Facebook fail. No, 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 no. When I was streaming, this was the sound that went through my head when I saw the failure to stream to Facebook. The lose a life. And you know, my audience was affected too because they were like, "Matt, are you streaming?" I'm like, "Yeah," um, but it didn't it didn't stream on that platform. I'm just so what I did this morning is I uploaded my 20 minute show, just a raw MP4, to my Facebook profile. So anyway, <laughs> coming soon for MySpace. No, 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 no. <sighs> Oh, no more MySpace. No more MySpace. Oh, there they are. We got some uh, Mario's coming in. Remember, you don't need to be first. Put the Mario in to get credit for today. You get a chance to win two bucks at the end of the week. There we go. Anyone else wants to pop in with a Mario? You can either put the emoji if you have membership on the channel or type the word Mario because you can type it 
and you don't need to pay for membership. That is technically free entry, so I'm not breaking any Pennsylvania Department of Commerce rules. Don't come after me, Pennsylvania. I am not breaking any laws by giving away money. It's a free giveaway. It's not a contest. Don't call it a contest. Free giveaway. I give away stuff for free. That's what I got going on. I tried to go out and do some property maintenance. I bought a big sheet of PVC. I know, PVC, you think of tubes. It actually comes in a big panel, big flat panel. And I'm going to extend the white picket fence. I have a PVC picket fence. I'm going to extend the fence because there's a couple inches underneath it, and the little puppy can slip out. So I need to fortify the barriers around my lawn to make sure small puppies don't get out. And uh, I went to do that yesterday, but it was so humid. I could cut the air with a chainsaw. I was like, no, I'll try it. Try it today. So I'll try it today. <laughs> Void where prohibited. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, my, my, my. Don't do property maintenance when it's humid out. But do become a level two fun haver. That's my membership here on the YouTubes. Sammy Superstar and Klondike are level two members. Check them out on the YouTubes. Level three members also get verbal shout outs, the Venture Forward and Rich Vibes. Check them out on the YouTubes. They also get their name in gold for being a level three fun haver. Follow the MS Walk link there, uh, the bit.ly link, and you can support that charity. It is tax deductible. Thank you, JV, for doing that. And you got to like the show, please. You don't got to. I would really appreciate if you would drop that like. Put the thumb up. Press the thumb up thing. I'm a bobber. And uh, smash the like button. Like the smash button. Smash button like. <laughs> Do all the smashing. If you see anything you can smash, smash it. That would help. That would help. Are you on my email newsletter? I'm sending out these email newsletters every Friday, people. Get on it. Get on it. What trouble will I get into this evening? Who knows? Come back here Monday through Friday, 8.15 a.m. in the morning, and I'll break it all down for you. With that, I'll leave it here. Thank you, everyone. I love you all. Stay awesome. I'll see you around the interwebs. Bye.